Hi guys, today I am just surrounded by all of my plants in my conservatory. I just am so ready for spring and so I wanted to just tape something that was a really quick video, something that's a little bit of a heart to heart, um, kind of behind the scenes and also wanted to discuss something that's a bit of an announcement. I don't know how long I'll keep this video up. Maybe I will keep it up, maybe I won't. Um, but basically I just wanted to say that this is going to be the last day where you can sign up for my winter enrollment of my Master the Art of Personal Style course. And so what's really cool about that is that I launched it two times last year and I worked tirelessly with my husband on creating this. It was a two person team and we just packed everything we could into the creation of this. For like half a year, we worked exclusively on creating this. And so it's just kind of my baby. <laughs> and so what I'm really excited about, maybe you guys have already taken it and you've enrolled this time around. If so, welcome. I'm really excited for you guys. Um, and also if you haven't, if you've never heard of a course or wanted to take a course before, if you're like, what is Bethany talking about? I wanted to sort of break down the most common questions that I get about it and answer those for you today. Um, maybe you're just having like a chill day and you just want to like listen to me talk in my room surrounded by plants, that's fine. Um, otherwise, let's get started. The first question that I get asked quite a bit is, what is the difference between what I can learn from your YouTube channel and the course? How are those two things different? How is that separated? So what I view my YouTube channel as is, of course, it's like a journal, right? It's a place where I make friends with you guys. Um, but and hopefully at the end of that, you've got some tips on to how to apply style to you in your own life. Um, it also hopefully is providing you with some recommendations as far as brands or products, all of those good things. Um, but at the end of the day, any YouTube video that's standalone can only offer you some tactics. It's not going to go deep um, as much as it could. And so with an eight hour course, something that's delivered and builds upon itself weekly, I'm able to actually provide a solution where I can give you a transformation by the end of it. At least that's the goal. So if somebody's really leaned into the process and they go through the whole thing, then the, sh the goal should be like, the end result should be that you're a better person because of it. I've taken several online courses myself. Um, I've gone to college as well. And so by the end of that, you're supposed to have just this total new enlightenment of understanding of something, some sort of concept. And so with this course, that's really how I designed it. Plus I made a lot of the content completely exclusive. Um, I went through the trouble uh, and cost, like there were thousands of dollars involved in lawyers and in trademarks and there are exclusive things in there that is only available in the course and only ever will be in the course. So that's kind of the difference there is that one is a tactic for YouTube and then the other is a transformation. It's sort of like, hey, I wanna be friends with you forever. I hope that my YouTube channel is always here to provide you guys help. Um, but if you want actual like step-by-step -step help that's a guide, that's where the course will really take over. The next question that I'm asked is why is it broken up by weeks and delivered weekly and then how many weeks long is it? So it's going to be a span of nine weeks total. That's six weeks and then three bonus weeks. And why I did this is because from a background being surrounded by professors and also I am related to a few professors, it really just helps people to understand concepts better and let it sink in if you're building upon something over time. And so what you learn this week is able to be thought about and studied and then next week you get to take everything and apply it to what you're learning there. And so it allows you just to sort of digest it better. So the first three weeks of the course are all about self-discovery, which really needs to happen first before you start sorting through your wardrobe. And then I perfectly timed this launch to then hit right at week four when you're going to sort through your wardrobe. That's when most people, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, are doing their spring cleaning and just starting over fresh for this new season. So that's gonna be a great time to sort through your wardrobe and then possibly start buying some new pieces in weeks five and six. But there's absolutely no rush. You, if, you know, if you're busy from now until like June, it's not gonna be a big deal because you get to have lifetime access and rewatch things later. 
Um, but then I've got three weeks after week six where it's just bonus weeks of discussing how to master things like fabrics and undergarments and just how to shop, some little pro tips of mine for that. And so with that, now we're able to really have a full understanding of how to shop, how to bring new things into your wardrobe with understanding and intention, and then also just build on everything we learned to match our wardrobes to what we learned in those initial few weeks. So the last three weeks of winter here are gonna be perfect for that self-discovery and maybe a bit time of time like um, at home. And then by the time that you get through those nine total weeks, you're gonna be well on your way to um, you know, personal discovery and developing your wardrobe to match it. Next, people ask me, is there a time I need to finish the course by? And the answer is no, you can do this completely at your own pace. You get lifetime access so that you can take this time to buy things slowly. I think that that means different things to different people, different budgets, um, different priorities and lifestyles, everything. So I wanted something that was very much flexible to meet you and help you along your way instead of me like forcing you to hurry up things or anything like that. And so I even told one of my lawyers, I'm like, I'm not doing a renewal fee. I'm not doing anything where I have to like rush them along through that process. So you know, the one-time fee is all it is, and then you get lifetime access. And any updates that I do make to the course, like let's say, um, you know, next year I wanna completely redo it or redo pieces of it or update my, uh, I've already updated some of my um, PDFs and downloads and all of that. Um, and so everyone gets access to all of those updates immediately. You don't have to pay for them or whatever else. It's just something that is automatic. So it's kind of like an iPhone where you just automatically get software updates for that. You don't have to you know, worry about your phone getting out of date. And so because the nature of this is a style course, I really didn't want it to get out of date ever either for someone. Next, are there any assignments or group projects or like live sessions that I need to be there for? These are the questions I get quite a bit. So live sessions, no, there's not. This is a global community and a lot of people have a lot of responsibilities as far as being a mom um, or some people are already in college or I've had some someone who is a Fortune 500 uh, employee who really is trying to like stand out among the rest. And so each of these people had different needs of taking my course and they all needed to do it on their own time. And since this is global, I did not do anything that was live. I also didn't want to expose anyone to a group. I've had people actually tell me, Bethany, thank you for not exposing me to an audience or a group through this process because this by nature is a personal style course and for a lot of people it's the first time in their lives where they've been able to say you know what I've had everyone else tell me how to dress until this moment and now I know what to do and so that's really the nature of it I wanted to make it independent study I wanted to make it flexible and so you can approach this on your own timeline there are assignments but that is something where I've had people tell me that they waited until pretty much the end to loop back around and start filling out the assignments and that's fine with me too I think that as long as you're doing the work and like thinking through these different concepts that I give that's really the goal and so I do have a lot of worksheets for you to like really think think through and fill out, but obviously it's as much of a course as you want to put into it. Also, last fall, there was someone who actually posted her experience going through the course to her followers, and I wasn't aware of this until after the fact, and so I just, after watching it, felt like it was such a succinct way of trying to describe the course in general and the whole experience better than I've been able to. <laughs> so I got her permission to share that with you guys. Um, her name is Kitty and through this process, she's actually become a friend of mine. And so I'll leave her channel link down in the description below, but here is her review of the course. So ever since I posted that I took Dearly Bethany's uh, personal style masterclass, I've had so many DMs asking me why I liked it, is it worth the money, what I liked it, or like what I got out of it and stuff. Um, and I thought I'd go over it quick because I think her class ends or like this next opening closes um, later today or something like that. So I thought I'd just go over it real quick. I thought I was somebody who had a pretty good idea of like kind of my personal style, but I always just felt like, I don't know, like it just like my outfits just never always felt totally like myself. And as I've gotten older now, <laughs> like following trends has felt weirder and weirder. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then like I've had two kids and I don't know 2020 did something to all of our like ability to get dressed and stuff and so it was something that I wanted to do for myself and I thought it'd be fun and I did it with my sister and it was a lot of fun so the first couple of weeks it's really about like going over like why style is important and you know why developing your personal style is like a good life skill and will just like help you in life and that was really enjoyable for me as somebody who's like mom of two you know like usually you're like the last one on the list of like who gets new clothes <laughs> um so it was really nice to do that and then where it really kind of started to blow my mind which was around like week three or four and she went over like she created essentially a personal style or like style characteristics color type of wheel so this thing's filled with i don't know maybe like 15 different style categories and they all it's like a spectrum but it's like a circle and they all kind of like relate to one another as they go around this wheel and she helps you define your personal style by picking a certain combination of them i don't want to like go over in too much depth because she did such an amazing job and worked so hard at this class that i think if you are at all interested in like truly understanding your personal style and developing your true personal style and not like what's trendy that this cl class is like totally worth it so um before i was introduced to the style wheel she actually has you fill out like these different worksheets to really come up with your style persona and it was so much fun and so fascinating and I always, so I did this with my sister and I always thought that um, Kim and I had like pretty similar style aesthetics. Um, turns out we don't at all, like really actually have that similar of styles and like styles that I thought I was definitely not were actually something that I did really like um, as I learned more about them and now they fell on like this color wheel and like color wheel is the wrong thing but it's like style wheel but it kind of looks like a color wheel um so that was just fascinating to like truly pinpoint specific styles that are mine that i can pull from like the characteristics of these styles to then put together an outfit and this whole thing is like a beautiful formula for getting ready in the morning i just love it. I mean, today I'm in like all athleisure wear because I clean my house and that kind of stuff and I'm doing kid pickup. But um, then she also goes into like a lot of color theory because she has such a, like a strong design background. Um, she just really understands like how to build colors, what colors work with different skin tones and different things like that. Um, so it really opened my eyes to like, you know, I thought I could never be somebody who could like wear a mustard color or something like that. And she explains like how you're able and different like skin cones can wear different colors um, based on their skin tone. So that's kind of like a quick gist of what I learned from the class itself. I really enjoyed it and I think it's totally worth the money. I, I mean, I just love some more supporting like fellow creators and other people on YouTube and stuff um, and she's helped me tremendously with like I'm only five feet and I think she's like five one or so um, and just learning to dress my body size and stuff. I've done capsule wardrobes like over the years so many times and I'm feeling like re-energized in the idea of like filling my closet with things not necessarily like a capsule wardrobe but like filling my closet with things that will last me for a long time because now I understand my style I know where to invest my money in it and it's given me like a road map to developing my closet now that I've understood my personal style so I think that it's just given me tools to like browse a website and know like instantly no yes no yes no because I feel like before I often follow trends or was like well that looks cool on XYZ influencer and then I was like I should get that but then realized I didn't really wear it for that much because it wasn't actually part of my personal style like sectors in the style wheel and so yeah it's 
awesome. I can't say enough good things about her class. So if you guys are interested, you can, um, I think you just look up, I'll leave her, like I'll take her in this, uh, Dearly Bethany. And then I think her class ends, um, sign up ends like today or something like that. But yeah. <laughs> So you can read more reviews at dearlybethany.com. That's also where you can sign up and I'll leave a link down for that in the description along with on the screen. Um, other than that, if you are one of the 800 people who did sign up this time around, thank you so much for allowing me to just be a part of this journey with you and for allowing me to teach you all of these lessons on a deeper level. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.